Here are a few tips about other things that you can do with branches in Abstract. Let's start with a tip on collaborating with your teammates toward the next release of your product. I'm going to call this release branching. Start by having one teammate create a branch from master. Name the branch something like release 20 dash, and then maybe the name of the new feature. On this branch, work together to write a branch summary that includes any context necessary for the release. This could include links to tickets for each design task, requirements, research findings, or any other documentation you have. Then prepare the sketch files for the upcoming work. If designers will need to work in the same file, it might be a good idea to create different pages in that file for each task, flow, or state that needs to be designed. Once the files are staged and ready to be worked in, have each team member create child branches from the parent release branch. Make sure that each branch has a clear design task, ticket, or deliverable that needs to be completed for the release. As the team members complete their tasks, they can review the work and merge back to the parent branch. At the end of the session, all branches will be merged into the parent release branch, and that branch will contain all of the designs needed for that release. Next up, archived branches. In abstract, we have a concept of active branches and archived branches. An active branch is any branch that you can see in the left navigation of a project. It is open and ready for the designer to work in. An archived branch is a branch that was either merged into its parent branch or one that was intentionally archived. Archiving branches is a useful way to keep your abstract interface clean and always up to date with the current work that's happening on your team. Here are two great examples of when you might archive a branch. First, let's say that you started working on something, but your team's priorities changed and that design is no longer going to be used. You want to keep that work somewhere, just in case the team wants to come back to those designs, but you don't want it to clutter up your active branches. You can right-click on a branch to archive it, so that the designs will be available at any point in the future. Second, when you archive a parent branch that has child branches, those child branches will stay active and they will become independent branches that can be merged up. You can also access the Archived Branches tab on the Branches screen to view archived branches, unarchive a branch, or start a new branch from a previously merged branch. Finally, let's talk about branching from commits. This is a cool thing that you can do to create a new branch from any commit on any other branch. So when would you do this? One reason you might branch from a commit is if you wanted to work on some designs based on a previous version of master. You can go to the commits tab in the master view of a project, right click on the commit, and choose create branch from there. Your branch will start with a fresh copy of all the files in master as they were at that point in time. Another reason you might branch from a commit is if you want to iterate more on a previous idea in a branch. You can navigate to the commits tab on any branch and right click to create a new branch. A super pro tip is to use this to split a branch into two separate streams of work by clicking on a commit in your current branch to create new child branches, which you can work on independently and merge separately. This will work on active and archived branches and it can be for one of your own branches or any of your other teammates' branches.